this video is created by Jagrat Creations wherein I want to take care of one sum from a chapter conversion and sale of a partnership firm and this chapter is a part of syllabus of IPCC group 2 advanced issues in partnership accounts just observe the sum that I intend to solve here before you this is the sum that I wish to solve here before you. This sum was asked in the examination by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. S and T were carrying on business as equal partners. Their balance sheet as on 31st of 2017 stood as follows. On the asset side, you are given these assets that are they are stock, debtors, furniture, joint life policy, plant, building. Capital accounts of s and total capital 13 lakhs, creditors 3,27,500 bank court after bills payable. This is a balance sheet as on 31st of part 2017 is given to you. The operations of the business were carried on till 30th September 2017. So this is as on 31st of March, business was continued by a partnership firm till 31st of part 2017. S and T both with you in equal amounts half the amount of profit made during the current period of 6 months after 10% per annum has been written off on building and plant and 5% per annum return off on furniture. Now in this 6 months times 1 with 6 months times 1 from March to 30th September. So from 1st of April to 30th September in this 6 months. Business was continued. Profit was earned. How the profit was arrived at? After providing for depreciation at the rate of 10% and 5% on furniture as, as mentioned to you. So after providing depreciation for 6 months, the profit was found out. And half of that profit was withdrawn by a partner. But how much that profit was? What is the half amount of that profit? That is not told to us. But you are told that during the current period of 6 months of creditors reduced by 50,000 bills payable by 11,500 bank overdraft by 75,000 joint life policy was surrendered for rupees 47,500 on 30th September 2017. Stock was valued at 3,17,000. Debtors were 3,25,000 on 30th September 2017. Other items remained same as on 31st of March. So you are given the details of all current assets, current assets and current liabilities that you can on the basis of which you can prepare the balance sheet as on 30th September 2017. So far as the fixed assets are concerned you are given the rate of depreciation. So in light of this information you can prepare the balance sheet as on 30th September 2017. And in this balance sheet, the missing item will be the combined capital of partners S and T. So, we should find out or we should prepare first of all, the balance sheet is on 30th September 2017, the date on which the partnership firm is converted into a company. The day on which the partnership firm is converted into a company, on that date you should have a balance sheet. And that balance sheet is not given to me. I am given the balance sheet as on 31st of March. Business was continued to 30th September. So I am required to prepare the balance sheet as on 30th September. 30th September 2017. In this balance sheet I can find out the capital, closing capital. Closing capital at the end of 6 months. I can find out from that balance sheet. Now on the basis of this opening capital, closing capital. And the sum of the information given to me about drawings. I can find out the profit for 6 months by a capital comparison method that you have studied in single entry. In single entry you have studied one of the methods that is known as statement of affairs method to find out the profit without writing the books of accounts. That method that is capital comparison method to find out the profit is required to be applied to this sum to find out the profit for 6 months and that profit will be distributed amongst partners and whatever the profit has occurred 50% thereof is being withdrawn by the partners. Now if you remember the method for finding out the profit by capital comparison method we find out the capital at the close of the accounting period 
we have by preparing a statement of affairs we have we also prepare a statement of affairs for the opening for the beginning of the accounting period and we find out the capital the capital at the at the beginning and capital at the end of the accounting period is compared but when the when you go for comparison we take into consideration two things drawings made during the year and additional capital brought and to find out the profit the formula that you studied in single entry capital comparison method closing capital plus drawings minus opening capital minus additional capital is equal to profit the same formula i am required to apply here to find out the profit for first 6 months and out of those profit half of half of the amount is being withdrawn and on the basis of this information i will prepare the balance sheet as on 30th september 2017 and after that i will proceed with conversion of a partnership firm into a company on 30th september 2000 the firm sold the business to st limited the value of goodwill estimated to be 440000 now this in from this paragraph the information starts about conversion of a partnership firm into a company where the value of goodwill is given to you 540000 and the remaining assets were valued on the basis of the balance sheet as on 30th september 2017 so all the assets are purchased by a company at a value disclosed in the balance sheet as on 30th september 2017 and you are not given the balance sheet as on 30th september 2017 so we are required to find out the values of the asset as existed as on 30th september 2017 by preparing a balance sheet for that day The S T Limited paid the purchase consideration in equity shares of Tanish. You are required to prepare realization account, capital accounts of the partner. And when the partnership firm is converted into a company, the partnership firm gets dissolved. And for dissolution accounting, you are required to prepare realization account and capital accounts. So this is the details of the sum that I have tried to explain you. Now let me start with the solution of the sum. For that, this is the balance sheet given to me. This is the information given to me in the sum. So I just keep this information here before you on the screen. So you are not required to have any study material on your hand for the purpose of learning this sum, because there are no secrets. You don't need even books with you. You can have look at the sum here on the screen, and I'll explain it. Now let me start. This is the realization account. These are the partners' capital account that I'm going to prepare for dissolution accounting. but before dissolution accounting i am required to find out i am required to prepare the balance sheet as on date of dissolution so in working note i prepare a balance sheet as on 30th september 2017 now see we do as entry both we do equal amount Half the amount of profit, so half the profit is withdrawn. Now, drawings and profit. Drawings are half of the profit. Understand that thing. This understanding I am going to apply while finding out the profit. Now, first of all, on building you are required to provide depreciation for six months at the rate of ten percent. So nine lakh ten thousand into ten percent into six by twelve. This is a depreciation for six months. So value of building after depreciation, as on thirtieth September two thousand seventeen, that will appear in the balance sheet. And this balance, this depreciation, is not required to debit to profit and loss account because we are finding out the profit by capital comparison method. method where in books of accounts are not recorded there's an important point to be understood i will write down the value of assets and liabilities only and prepare a statement of affairs same way on plant i am required to provide depreciation at the rate of 10% for 6 months that works out to be 8625 this is the value of plant after depreciation as on 30th september 2007 now furniture on which i am required to provide depreciation at the rate of 5% 75000 less depreciation at the rate of 5% for 6 months so this is the value of furniture in my closing statement of fs now during the current period of 6 months creditors reduced by 50000 so creditors are 3 lakhs 27500 
they are reduced by 50,000. So creditors, as on 30th September 2017, works out to be 2,77,500. Bills payable reduced by 11,500. So 62,500 minus 11,500, that works out to be 51,000 bills payable as on 30th September 2017. Bank overdraft by 75,000. So 150,000 minus 75,000. So bank overdraft as on 30th September 2017, 75,000. Now joint type policy surrender for 47,000 on 30th. So joint type policy surrender means encashed. And cash means cash is received for that asset. Here is the joint type policy 47,500. We have received 47,500 and that has become a part of cash and bank balance or it, may have, it, it must have been utilized for the purpose of reducing the bank overdraft. So no need to consider this at all. Stock select like 17,000 debtors select like 25,000. Now Total of assets minus liabilities. So here you will get the total capital of S and T is a balancing figure. So this is the closing capital. Now closing capital is there. Here you are given opening capital. You are given drawings are one half of profit. The formula to find out the profit is what? Closing capital plus drawings minus opening capital minus additional capital is equal to profit. Here in this some additional capital is not there. So let me write down the formula closing capital plus drawings. How much are the drawings? Half of profit. Suppose that profit is P then half of profit is P by 2. So P by 2 is the total drawings of the partners minus opening capital. You will get the total profit for 6 months that is P. So P is the profit then drawings are P by 2. Now closing capital as we have worked out by preparing this statement of affairs that is 13 that 40,000. Opening capital is already given to us in the sum that of S and T I total it. So 13 that 40,000 plus P by 2 minus 13 lakhs is equal to P. This is the formula. So P is equal to 13 lakh 40,000 plus P by 2 minus 13 lakhs. So P by 2 is transferred to opposites of P minus P by 2. 13 lakh 40,000 minus 13 lakhs. So P by 2 is equal to how much? 40,000. So profit is equal to 80,000. So P by 2 is equal to 40,000 and profit is equal to 80,000. So this is how profit for 6 months is worked out. Now profit for 6 months is worked out. On the basis of these drawings and profit, I can find out the total individual capital of both the partners. All other assets and liabilities as on the date of conversion is already given to me. On the basis of this information and this capital bifurcation that is available to me now, as I know the profit to be distributed between partners and the drawings to be distributed between partners in the equal proportion. So now I can start with preparation of realization account and capital accounts. Now I can proceed with the dissolution accounting. Now I start copying the balance sheet opening on the basis of this capital, opening capital balance. Now profit 80,000 distributed equally between partners. So 40,000, 40,000. Drawings are equally distributed between S and C, 20,000, 20,000 are the drawings. So this is how profit and drawings are recorded. Now understand one important point. 640 plus 40, 680. 680 minus 20, 660. Remember 660. 660 plus 40, 7 lakhs. 7 lakhs minus 20, 680. 680 plus 660. That means 13 lakh 40,000. So this is how this 13 lakh 40,000 is bifurcated. Now capital is already recorded. So this 13 lakh 40,000 is recorded in this fashion. Now all the assets to be realized are transferred to the debit side of realization account. So building debit to realization account. 
plant debited to realization account, furniture debited to realization account, stock and debtors are also debited to realization account. So assets to be realized are transferred to the debit side of realization account. Liabilities are transferred to the credit side of realization account. This capital balance is already copied here. On the basis of this information, there's an important point to be understood in this sum. Now, I am required to find out the sales value of this partnership firm. Goodwill was estimated to be 540,000. So these are the assets and these are the liabilities. So what is purchased? All these assets are purchased. So total assets purchased are 743,500. That is also 743,500. Total liabilities, assets purchased plus goodwill. 540,000. So this is the total assets purchased minus total liabilities. So these are the net assets that has been purchased. And for this net assets, the payment is made by issue of equity shares. So 18 like 80,000 equity shares are issued by the company. Every share is of 10 each. So this payment is made by giving equity shares. Now this is assets and liabilities are transferred to a new company. So purchase consideration is recoverable from new company ST Limited. So let me prepare ST Limited account. All these assets and liabilities are sold to new company at a price of 18 like 80,000. So that amount is recoverable. So ST Limited account debit to realization account credit. Now you can find out the profit or loss on realization. So total of asset, total of credit side minus total of debit side. So this is the profit. This profit will be distributed amongst partners in the ratio of profit sharing. So equal sharing. So 2 like 70,000, 2 like 70,000 is a profit. Now they are to be paid capital. For capital, they will be given equity shares. So equity shares, 9 like 30,000 and 9 like 50,000 equity shares are given. And these equity shares are received from whom? ST Limited. So equity shares received from ST Limited. So 18 like 80,000 recovered. And that is applied for the payment of capital. Here I should write the equity share capital total amount anyway. So this is how partner's capital account, realization account, etc. is prepared. Purchase price is also found out. The most important point of this sum is to find out the profit for for six months till the date of sale and the bifurcation of that profit in light of the information given for drawings. That's an important point of this sum. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to you.